Ooh, y'all, it smells it already up in here. I don't want to put some of this butter in here. Ooh, baby. Put that butter flavor in there. I love this carrot gold. Hello my glow stars and glow getters, this your girl Mo back with another video and today's video is a cooking vlog and welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel and for the newcomers, welcome, welcome, welcome to the glow fam, we welcome you here to the channel y'all. Before we get started on this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel and also have your post notifications on every time your girl put a video out and today I am cooking steak and shrimp loaded baked potato y'all with broccoli on the side with some parsley and some cheese shredded cheese on the top so that's basically what i'm going to cook today all right y'all so let's get into the video all right y'all so i have my pan hot right here and this is just the little steaks that you put on the skillet they already seasoned and what i seasoned with i seasoned with um Morton season all. I do complete seasoning by Batia. Also, we do onion powder. I don't want my camera, y'all. And garlic powder and some black pepper. Come on, camera. And the butter I'll be using too because sometimes I like these butter. I use the carry gold butter, garlic and herb butter, baby. It's so good. And do a little olive oil right now. Be on the healthy side sometimes. You're gonna do extra version oil. Yeah, batali. So my pan is already hot. And I got it between three and four because I wanna be careful with these steaks, y'all. And what I'm gonna do with these steaks towards the end when I put the potato in the uh microwave, I'm not putting in the oven. Put in the uh, microwave because it's a lot faster. And um, I'm gonna just cut the strips of the um, steak and put the shrimp in there, stuff it up in there with some parsley, y'all, for decoration. So, yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna put my oil in here. Not gonna put a whole lot at this moment, just a little bit. It's hot. Yeah, y'all, so I was coming back with another cooking vlog. You know, go in between vlogs, y'all, shopping and cooking and other lifestyle vlogs out there y'all that's basically what i'm doing all right so i feel it's hot and i'm gonna go and try to put all of them on if i can i don't want to cook them too fast y'all y'all see that sizzle 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 yeah i saw these at my local iga And yeah, I always go and buy me some ribeye steaks and um, see bone and stuff. And I, this caught my eye and say, you know what? I want to try this to see what I can make out of this because I haven't seen these before. So I really want to make this into something that creative, y'all. All right, y'all. So they smell good already. And I had bumped up to a um, four heat, you know, on my own um, stove. I have like number heating settings on here. So I got them four. I don't want to put on five because I think it's going to cook too fast. I don't want to cook too fast on the outside. I want to take my time and allow this to cook in here. I'm going to just go ahead and flip them over. Right now, and the other side to it. Most times, some people like to um, cook their steak and sear it on the stove, and they basically like to go ahead and let cook the rest in the um, oven. So I feel like, you know, it's gonna get a little tougher when you're in the oven, so you gotta be careful while you put it in the oven. But I'm gonna go put some um, 
some of that Kerrygold um, garlic butter in there because I do like a little butter flavor in my steak, y'all. Ooh, y'all, it smells good already up in here. I'm gonna put some of this butter in here. Ooh, baby. Put that butter flavor in there. I love this Kerrygold. One of, um, another YouTuber that I see all the that I look at all the time, which is, um, Life with Anthony. If y'all watch him, yeah, Life with Anthony. Uh, he be cooking a lot uh, all the time throughout the uh, cabin ground. And I've been watching him cooking stuff, and uh, he just made me want to go out and get this butter, y'all. This butter right here. Yeah, so he was talking about this butter was so good when he cooked him. Like with Anthony, and he always said wowzers with certain things that just taste so good with him. So I use this, you know, and it tastes good, y'all. I put it in my uh, broccoli, meat, you know, uh, shrimp, seafood, crab legs. And another thing that I need to do, y'all, is do some crab legs in the into my. So I still got some crab legs, y'all in the freezer waiting on me to cook and I want to do that. I want to do a crab boil in an instant pot. So that's my next thing on the list y'all. Because I love me some seafood and some crab. Oh God! Who don't love crab and seafood? Shrimp and some boiled eggs and that sausage and that corn and that Cajun season baby. With that old bay baby. Yes! With some steak on the side because I be still with my steak. I'm a steak lover. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm a steak lover. You girl Mo? Is a state lover. Comment down below, y'all, if y'all a state lover, like your girl, and what kind of states y'all eat, and what's y'all favorite state to eat? Okay. Oh, you just love all of them, like me. Because I don't have no favorite. I love all of them. Uh, all right, y'all, so most times when I cook my steak, I like to split it down in the middle with a knife just to see if, you know, it was done. You know, I don't want just a little bit running, but not a lot running, you know what I mean? As y'all can see, it doesn't take long to cook them, y'all. Yeah, so it doesn't take them long. And I had already cut in between some of them. So they practically are ready. I like to go see. You know how it is. You want to go see what's going on. So yeah, they are practically ready. And I'm going to put them over here to this napkin and let them rest. Uh-oh, upside kind of looking like a... But it's alright because I like my crispy baby. I like mine a little crispy. Alright. And I'm just gonna let them rest a little bit, then I'm gonna slice them whenever I can, y'all. Y'all know every time you try to do a video, kids do not want you to do a video. Try some stuff for your channel. Kids just do not understand what you're trying to do. But here's my shrimp, y'all. I had already washed them out. Gonna get ready to season them and uh, I season them with Obey seasoning, Obey garlic and herb. Come on, camera! Come on, camera! Come on, camera! Y'all, my camera is there, it is. And I also use this Obey, the lemon herb as well. I use on fish, shrimp, and chicken. Who my favorite? So, yeah, y'all. And then parsley at the end, like I said, parsley flakes at the end for decoration, y'all. So, that's pretty much we're gonna do at the end with the baby potato y'all so let's go season this up but those have kids those that youtubers out here that have kids yes it's hard to vlog around kids so excuse the sound and the noise in the background y'all that's what garlic and herb this is lemon and herb y'all and then sometimes i do a little extra more garlic powder so that garlic flavor and I'll add the, the um, garlic board at the end but I will melt it in the microwave and pour it all over everything set in alright y'all so we'll be back when everything gets popping and jumping y'all okay alright y'all so I had already begun starting to slice these up and I had already tasted these it tastes so delicious y'all and moist the way I like them so I'm just only do like three pieces like that. The other two, I think my mom probably just want the whole. She don't want the loaded baked potato that I'm making. So 
She don't eat all our starch, y'all. You know how I open for her. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. All right, y'all, so my baked potato is done. Of course it is. Yes, um, so I get a knife and just cut. Uh-oh, in between. Uh-oh, anyway. Cut in between. Make it in like that. Hold on, y'all. Look at this skin. I don't like skin. Hold on. I don't like that. All right, so. Here's your baked potatoes ready. So what I would do first, I would just go ahead and put some salt and pepper on it because I already know it's kind of like baked potatoes are bland already. So yes, bland baked potatoes. So you want to go do that and then I'm going to melt butter from like 15 seconds. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. I want to just go ahead and get my uh, shrimp ready. I need a bigger fork for that, y'all. A bigger fork. I'm trying to talk country, though. I am country. What? So I just want to go ahead and plate my shrimp there. Done as well. And I had already seasoned them again with some. I might have to put my baked potato out a little bit far, but you get the idea, y'all. Y'all get the idea. I ain't gonna put too much. I want to taste some shrimp. Mmm. 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 Want to put the steak in there? I got some like little strips. Now I gotta taste the um the, the um the steak is so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. This is a little idea that I came up with. Very creative. Mm. Very creative. I mean, when I looked at this thing, I'm like, no oh, girl. I never had a loaded baked potato before. I only just did it the, the original way. Basically with just salt and pepper and butter because I don't like sour cream. Oh yeah. We have this butter and I'm gonna show y'all next time I just butter it down and have my broccoli on the side, y'all. All right, y'all, so I have my broccoli sitting here. And I melted some of my garlic butter right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just pour some over my um, broccoli a little bit, okay? I said I was gonna put cheese on here, but I changed my mind about the cheese with the uh, potato, but I'm still gonna put cheese on the um, on the broccoli, because I still like cheese. I love cheese, and I use triple cheddar, a great value at Walmart. I love some cheddar, girl. I'm a cheddar girl. So I'm still gonna, um, and when you have cheddar like this, it's gonna melt. So I ain't really, sometimes I just go ahead and um, let it melt. I take the potato off and just let the cheese melt here. But sometimes I just let it sit on top and let it melt on its arm. And when you use cheese like that, especially triple cheddar, you don't need salt or pepper. It's salt in that cheese. So on here, I would like to go ahead, put my little parsley flakes on here. And this brand right here don't have the bright, the bright, uh, what do they call it, Spice Supreme? This don't have a bright color of parsley. The one from Great Bay does. So, 
um, what I will do, put the rest of the butter in here. And that's that carrot gold, y'all. And I have it on this plate, y'all. So there you have it. This, this, um, yeah, I was gonna do. I'm not being a fan of cheese in my baked potato. So I thought about it, but it's something that you can consider when you do this dish yourself. You can consider doing the cheddar cheese on your baked uh, loaded potato. Or however, you use the potato in the oven or in the microwave. I prefer microwave because it's faster. So, yes, there's the parsley here and there's the cheese. I said cheese on melt is on. Uh, but if I really wanted to melt faster, I just put it in the microwave and let it melt. So this is the dish, y'all, for today. And I also love how everything came out today. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That bar. I'm so glad Life will answer you here on YouTube. That talked about that carrot gold. Dollar herb butter. That thing, oh my god. I see why he said he loves it. Because this is so good. And this, like, this butter's for dishes like this. And it tastes so good. Y'all see that? Cheese, the butter. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. The baked potato here. Oh my god, that butter in there. Now I might have to put some more butter in there. I see that. Wow, that steak. That shrimp. Uh oh, steak don't fail, y'all. But that's delicious. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Y'all. If you, if you are out there that's already eating baked loaded potatoes, that's good because I never ordered it at a restaurant or nothing like that. I never don't like how they you know do it but doing it at home is saving money you're saving a lot of money I ain't gonna lie oh y'all oh I want that face on the left man. and that butter tastes so good oh my god y'all try this at home save money Longhorn Texas Real High whatever you at this can be good done at home for Zero dollars. Under twenty dollars, you can say. I told y'all that carries on. You better get it. Mm. That's the result. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my god, it brings out so many flavors into your dishes. You have to try it out. Ooh, honey. Uh oh. One on fell. Oh lord. Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all. So that will be it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed this little cooking vlog of me. Doing this uh, baked loaded potato with shrimp and steak, baby, and some broccoli and cheese. Something that you can save money doing at home. So, yeah, y'all, I really enjoyed this dish. I really like how this came out. You can do your own. Like I said, baked loaded potato at home. This is so delicious. And I'm going to finish this off. And I got my kids already getting fed, you know, doing their thing. So, I'm going to go. Mommy going to feed her, so. Alright y'all, so please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel and also have your post notifications on every time your girl comes on the video because you never know what video your girl may put out. Alright y'all? And as always, keep on glowing and keep on growing. Until next time y'all, I'm out on this video. Bye bye!